Hi friends. Today I am going to teach you, walk you through the steps of how to draw a pumpkin. So here's what we're going to do today. Uh, you're going to need a pencil, a piece of paper, crayons, markers, or colored pencils. First thing you're going to do is take your paper and fold it in half with a soft crease. You don't have to crease it really hard and then unfold it. And then you're going to fold it the other direction and also crease it so you have an X, see that? Uh, or a squares, but so what we, we are doing that, so we have a center in our paper, so you can focus on where you're gonna draw the center part of your pumpkin, okay? If you need to pause the video and follow the directions, that's the greatest part about the video, is you can pause it and then keep playing it or rewind it if you need to. So after you've creased your paper, you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna draw an oval right in the middle, okay? So this is what an oval looks like. It's like a long circle. <clears throat> after you get that done, you're gonna make kind of a half oval on the right side and the left side of that big oval. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna start getting the details of your pumpkin, okay? And then you're gonna do that one more time on each side. So this is what I've drawn so far. Now I'm gonna put a stem on it. So this stem goes at the top So I just drew my stem like that. Then I'm gonna make two little connecting lines to look like the back of the pumpkin. I'll show you. See right here and there. So I'm gonna put that on my pumpkin. Now I'm gonna add an horizon line so it looks like the grass to the sky. So I'm gonna draw a line about halfway through my paper and it can be really straight or kind of squiggly because sometimes the ground isn't totally straight. So I've drawn my horizon line. I don't draw across my pumpkin because I, don't, I want it to look like the pumpkin sitting in front of it. And then I'm gonna draw a vine with some leaves on it. So here's a vine and leaves. My kitty's gonna say hi. This is Lulu. So to draw a vine, I'm just gonna do a little squiggly line and another one right next to it. So if you can see that, I drew one line and then the other. And then I'm gonna do that on the other side. Okay, so here's my squiggly line on that side. I'm going to add some leaves. So to draw a leaf, it's um, kind of like the shape of an eye. If you're trying to draw an eye on a face, right here. You can do two or three of them if you want, one on each side. You can see on there. Okay, so now my picture is ready to color. So I have my crayons, so I can use um, orange, light orange, dark orange, a little bit of brown on my pumpkin for shading if I want to. Uh, you can outline it with a darker color to give it some dimension. You can color light green on the bottom and then make the horizon line a little bit darker. You can color the sky, you could add some clouds. I would color the um, branches or the leaves maybe a little bit darker green than the grass but you get to um, make this 
This is where you get to design it so you can add things to the picture if you want. Um, I'm gonna send a how-to step-by-step -step instruction in the link to your mom or dad in the email they're gonna get. So they can also open that up on the computer and you can look at it or print it if you want to. And when you finish your project, if you would like to take a picture of it and send it to me, I would love that. If you have any questions, your folks can email me. Um, good job on keeping up with art and all your good efforts. And I can't wait to see all your awesome pumpkins. See you later.